Hello there, everyone. This is your girl, Miss Gina. Welcome back to Journey with Miss Gina. So, I just got out of church. Awesome, awesome, awesome worship service. Awesome word today by my pastor. Great, great, great word. So, I did not have breakfast today. I didn't have breakfast. It is about 2.30. So, that's a no-no. Um... And I typically don't have breakfast on Sunday mornings. Um, my intention was to get up a little early and make some oatmeal, uh, but I haven't been to the grocery store. I haven't even had water yet, and but I still have this bottle. So I am at Ethos Vegan Kitchen, and I'm gonna go in and grab me something to eat, and I will be back and share that journey with you all, show you what I ordered and how the rest of the day is going to play out as I continue on this journey. Um, even though you find yourself eating at vegan restaurants or whatever, you can still overdo it. My favorite, one of my favorite dishes is the calzone and you get to fill it with, you know, whatever you want to, uh, from mushrooms to, you know, a lot of the vegetables, the vegan meats that they have. So I am here. Um, still birthday in I got some birthday money <laughs> so treating myself out to lunch so stay tuned oh um today today is July 21st so I'm on this journey I'm gonna do this every day um, good day not so good day great choices not so great choices but um, I'm just taking on a journey and also learning to not deprive myself either but but everything is in moderation so let's go hey everybody so I am back from well I'm still here I, I just finished lunch and as you can see from the pictures, um, I showed you what I had for lunch. I had the, I'm at Ethos, Ethos Vegan Restaurant, of course, and I had the barbecue empanadas. I had those two, and you see I ordered the, the skillet dish, even though it was an appetizer, as you can see, it's enough for a meal, and it came with the blue chips, which I saved some there and I was able to um, I, I rarely I didn't I hardly ate um, much of the skillet dish although it was filled with black beans it had vegan chicken tomatoes jalapenos thank you and um, what else it had in there vegan cheese It was almost like a uh, fiesta dish, so definitely loaded with protein. Of course, it had carbs in it, but because I'm more plant-based, then I can't expect to have the carbs. And as you can see, these are the leftovers remaining from that. I'm gonna actually share those with... Um... Oh, thank you. <laughs> you too. And I ordered some vegan cookies. I'm gonna share these with you because I'm only gonna treat myself to one because whenever I come to eat those, I always get one of the cookies and again, their cookies are not made with any animal products, so no butter, no eggs, things like that. So, let me show you the size of one of their cookies, which is why you can only eat one because they're pretty large. Pretty large. So that is the peanut butter cookie and I'm entitling myself to one, um, and then the other, which is, I, I probably can put them in the freezer, because um, I only got two. Oh, and the other was the snickerdoodle. The snickerdoodle is really, really good. So, um, for dinner, being it that I, I ate rather late, dinner is gonna be really light. Um, I probably will just have the salad that I had from yesterday with olive oil and lemon juice and drinking plenty of this. So my goal is to finish this before I leave because I need to get my water down. Stay tuned. Hello, okay. 
So I'm back to give a recap of the day. Um, you all saw previously or earlier where I was out to lunch. I went to Ethos, which is a vegan restaurant, and I had the barbecue empanadas, and then I had this fiesta dish that had black beans, vegan chicken, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, um, with vegan type sour cream. And I actually only ate, I don't even think I ate half of it, so the rest I'll be taking to work tomorrow. So, oh, and I did eat the cookies, um, the vegan cookies, the snickerdoodle and the peanut butter. Um, so that was my treat for the week and I'm okay with that. I don't feel guilty about that because whenever I go to eat those, I always usually get one of, I usually get their, one of their cookies, at least one, but I like the snickerdoodle and the peanut butter. Emotionally, um, I feel good because I'm looking forward to the week ahead. I am committing myself tomorrow to working out. So I would say for the week, but because I'm taking it day by day and I don't want to make any excuses, I don't know what each day is going to bring. So the only thing that I can do is be prepared for the day as best as I can. So I have my gym bag over there ready. So when I get off work tomorrow, I can just literally stop by the gym on the way home is in the route home. Um, I, I, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Everything in me is screaming. You gotta do this. Um, I didn't do good on my water intake today. Um, as a matter of fact, I only had that glass of water that I had at the restaurant. So I am going to finish the rest of this before I go. So it's probably about a cup and it's after midnight. Um, but I have, to get, I have to get the water in and sometimes the weekend is, uh, I do fall back a little bit on the water intake versus when I'm at work, I tend to get it down better. But again, that is no excuse. So back on the grind with the water, I am also sipping on some Sleepy Time tea. Um, just to get me to relax a little bit better because I normally have trouble falling to sleep at night. So overall, today was not a bad day, but it could have been better. I didn't eat breakfast and technically I didn't eat lunch because by the time I ate, it had to be after three maybe. So I have to consider unless I'm doing intermittent fasting, that I need to be eating something or making a smoothie. I bought some celery so I can juice my celery in the morning. So the goal is to get up early enough to, <laughs> to make the celery juice. I actually like it. So um, I got three stalks of that to do today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Normally when I was doing the celery juicing, I was juicing every day and I did it every day for like Oh, I, I, it had to be at least two weeks and somewhere along the way I fell off. So this is my second full day of vlogging, if you will, of my journey into this. And I'll also be sharing um, my bout at the gym tomorrow. Um, you know, it shouldn't be this hard. It should not be this hard. Oh, and I also include the pictures after this video where I made um, a homemade oatmeal bait so that I can be prepared for breakfast in the morning um, after I do my juice. So I got some whole oats and uh, what's the recipe? Oats with almond milk, two eggs, bacon powder, cinnamon, um, I use maple syrup, just a little bit of maple syrup, and I also use coconut sugar, and I put frozen fruit in there. So it's not, some people might eat it and might not be, <laughs> might not be inclined to eat it because it's not overly sweet 
at all. Um, but it's, it's bearable because it has the fruit in there. So it's going to serve its purpose. And I will pack two of those in the morning. So after I have my juice, maybe mid-morning, I'll eat a couple of those. And I'm also going to have my salad and the fiesta that I had today. So the goal is to make sure that I'm eating something every three to four hours. So I'm not going the whole day not eating and have the energy to um, work out. And I'm also going to commit myself to drinking green tea tomorrow instead of coffee. So that's the goal. So if you are watching this, thank you for hanging in there with me. And we'll see as the time goes along. We shall see. Journey with Miss Gina. Thank you for joining.